my name is Candice Bree Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandice.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they can start taking the right action and start building a profitable business online. So today I'm actually answering a viewer's question. Question number one is, what do you use to record your video? Question number two, how did you edit your video? What do you use to edit your video? So let's answer question number one first. What do I use to record the video? A lot of people think that I use a very fancy camera to record video. You definitely could do that. I mean, it, it will really help because then it, the quality is pretty good. However, I recall all my videos, even with this particular one right here, I use my personal cell phone to record it. Here's the deal. Most of the cell phone nowadays have very, very good quality of camera that allows you to take good picture and record very, very good video. All you need to do is to have some good lighting. You know, natural light would be good. A lot of people are investing into $20 or maybe a little bit more on the ring light. Now, inside in the, uh, the description, I have two recommendations for you for those budget friendly. There is one that's cheaper version that you just clip on the phone. And then there's one that has tripod come with. Now, does, do you need to, need to have a tripod? I would suggest you to have a tripod. If your phone doesn't, at home you doesn't have a tripod, maybe invest into the ring light that actually comes with the tripod. I do have a tripod for this phone right here. It's from another camera, okay? So that's question number one. I use my personal cell phone to record this video and all of my video. Most of the cell phone does a very, very, very good job. All right. Now for question number two, what do I use to edit my video? To answer that question, I actually have to head over to my computer. Now, I am a PC user, so you know if you're a PC user, stay tuned. If you are Apple's user, you probably want to go take a look at an Apple version of this software. The software that I'm gonna to talk about is called a Movie Maker. I believe for Apple user, you have an iMovie. They they work more or less the same. Okay, so let's head over to my PC right now. Let's go. So now that you can see the video is done loading, so we, we could actually have the editing process begin. But I want to share a little tips with you when it, when, when it comes to recording the video. Now, when I, when I first started recording the video, it was very frustrated. And I don't know if you, if you have ever experienced that. A lot of time, you know, when I make a mistake, I stop the camera and then I restart the camera again and start recording. And then I, I made a mistake, I stop again. And it makes me, it makes it so hard. I feel like I was taking hundreds and hundreds of takes and I still haven't had a good uh, video. Then I slowly learned that you're not supposed to stop the camera. You should continue. So th this is the tips that I want to give you. When you press start to record the video, let it run. Don't stop the camera until it's done or until you say, okay, I'm going to record from point A to point B. I don't care how many mistakes I made. I'm just going to record and get those done. Just do that. Right. So because the, the reason because is that the whole point of an editing is to cut out the mistake part. OK, so just press the camera and if you made a mistake, stop, compose yourself and then start again so that you can have to keep pressing the button and, and restart all over again. Because when you do that psychologically, you keep telling yourself that you're starting over and over again. But if you keep letting the camera run, you actually uh, will feel much comfortable to do this. OK, so don't stop the camera just because you made a mistake because the, this is what the beauty of our editing. You could cut out the mistake part. And I'm actually gonna show you part of my video so that you could see how I compose myself once I, um, once I stop, uh, uh, once I made a mistake. So let me play a little bit of my video so you can see. Hi, my name is Candice Bree Walston from createfreedomwithcandice.com. I simplify marketing strategy for entrepreneurs so that they could start taking the right action and start growing the business online. Hi, my name is Candace Wee Watson from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. So you kind of see how I made a mistake. I stopped myself. I do some countdown. Whatever works for me, I, it, it helps me. The reason why I do the countdown is that it helps me to recognize if I do three, two, one. So when I'm doing editing, 
when I doing a fast, I could kind of see my hand gesture. I know that that's the part where I'm restarting. But whatever works for you. Just make sure when you make a mistake, don't hurry up and jump right back into it. Give it a little bit space. The reason being, you want to have the space so that you could remove those seeds. And with that being said, I'm going to show you how to remove the scene that you don't want. So this part right here, as you can see, was the part that, you know, um, that was a mistake. Before I'm going to show you how to remove the scene, a couple of things you need to know. This bar right here, it's help you moving the, you know, moving to show the video. You see how wherever you drag, that's where the video play. That's number one. Number two, I want you to pay attention on these graphs look like. So up and down. These are your voice frequencies, up and high and low, okay? Where when there's no, um, no graph, that means that's your silent part. If you recognize that, then you will make the recording process easy because the silent part, you don't need to include it in the camera uh, in, in the final version of your video so you could cut that part out. So I noticed that this is where I made a mistake. This is the empty, so this must be my counting part. And I, could I, know also, I also know that I made a mistake here and the, this is this long to say something. And this is where we start and at this short, I bet you this is another mistake part. And then I have an empty space right here. In fact, as I could see here, I, once you recognize this, making your um, editing process so fast, I could actually tell these are all the mistake part and this is where I restart again. If you don't believe me, let me show, show you. Hi, my name is Jay. See, I restarted all again. So I could actually remove this part wherever you want to remove. So this part right here is the part all up to this point is the part that I want to remove this, the, the scene right here. So what I need to do is I move the bar to this part right here. Before I could remove any scene, I have to split the scene that I want to remove from the rest of the video. So I'm gonna, I remove the bar to the end of the, where the scene is and I'm gonna do a split. Now, this part right here has been split from the rest of the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the video. If I re want to remove this, all I need to do now that's split, all I need to do is click on home and I will drag this bar to the beginning of the scene, all right? Whenever you want to remove a scene, you need to have this bar in front of the scene that you want to remove. If it was the behind, if you want that, if you have your bar right here, you will actually, let's, let me show you, you will actually remove the scene behind this part. So let's take a look. You see how all the scenes are gone? And you don't want that. So now you, you, you don't want that. So you want to go back, undo. So you want to make sure your bar is at the beginning of the scene. So now I click on remove all the scenes, the front have the scenes gone. Now I'm going to show you another part. So let's go back. I'm going to start from all over. Let's say that I want, I, I like this part right here and I want to keep this part right here as well. This middle part, this part in between these two scenes that I want, I want to remove it. So what do I need to do? So what you want, if you want to remove a scene in between two parts, you want to do two splits. So I'm going to go to the beginning part. You see how the silent part, you want to go to the beginning part and you want to split, right? And then you want to go to the end of that scene also do another split because you have to have a split from the beginning of the scene that you want to you, beginning of the scene because you want to keep this part then you want to split from here and then you want to also split from here now you could only re, you will only remove this middle part and make sure your bar is in the middle of the scene so now all you need to do is go back to the home and click on remove and that's how you remove the scene all right so guys uh, now that I know that this part is what I don't want, now I remove the scene. This is the next scene that I want. All right, so that's how you split and remove scene, okay? You got to split the scene and then remove the scene. Let's move on to the next thing. So let's listen to the video for a little bit. Hi, my name is Candace Free Walston from Create Freedom with Candace. Now, let me teach you something that you could actually notice right here, caption. You can actually add the caption so that now what I do whenever I introduce myself is if you are making a video to brand yourself, it's good for you to actually 
put your information in the video. So what I do is I'm gonna let the I video run and I'm gonna click on caption. When I click on caption, you guys notice, you could actually move the bar to wherever. So now all I need to do is put some, some information in there. So I'm gonna put my name in there because this is how I um, brand myself, whatever you wanna do, right? I'm gonna put my name and I'm gonna put my website, all right? I'm gonna put my name on my website and I want to do things. I have been, this is how the way, you know, you, you choose however you want. I already have a theme that's going on that I want to share every time and for every single video, for every single video, my name it shows up. My name and my website shows up exactly the same for every single video for branding purposes. So what I did was, I you, you could choose the different size. I know I, I know I was going a little bit fast. I was I chose a font that I like. I chose the size that I like, and then I go to here. This is where I like the outline size. Basically, it gives me the outline, how big, and you, you could choose big, small, whatever you want, right? However you like it, okay? This is a good one. And then the color that you want, whatever color. My brand color, it's uh, red, white, and black, so I would stick with the red and white. Um, you could choose whatever. Now, that's how, that's how you create, make the fun, okay? That's number one, fun for your caption. If you look at here, the format right here, the text duration you can let the text run however long you want this is go by second okay seven second is it's good all right you could go by as many seconds as you want i normally just leave it at seven seconds because that's exactly how long it for me to introduce myself all right and the next thing is how do you want to the the the, the, the text come in to your video yes, if you could see or like this you kind of hover over so you can actually have a sense how it come, okay? However you want. There's a lot of different options. It can actually can show you um, what I have been doing. I have been coming like this. Again, this is for branding purposes and I want to be keeping a consistency from, from all of my video. So I click on this and, and let's play it for you to see that, so that you can see how it's done. Now that the caption is done, I want to show you the finished product, okay? Hi, my name is Candace Green Walston from CreateFreedomWithCandace.com. So you see how it's actually showed up exactly how I want it. So that's how you want to add the caption. All right, the next thing that I want to show you is adding, if you have a photo or if you have a video from outside that you want to add into your video, how do you do that, okay? It's very easy, okay? Uh, first of all, in order for you to add a photo or a video into any scene, you need to have a split between scene, okay? Unless you want to add it at the end, all right? Um, if you want to add it at the end, all you need to do is just drag this bar to the end, right? Now, if you have already have a, 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 um, a pictures that you have already made or a video that you have already made that you want to insert in there, you could do that. That's not a problem. Now, or if you have recorded, let's say if you recorded a video, you separate by part, you know, you have part one, you recorded it, part two, you recorded it. So all you need to do, so let's say this is your part one video, and you have another video that you want to add. I have a part two video here. All I need to do is go to the desktop or go to wherever the part two video is. Um, I, haven't, I haven't got one yet, but... Um, once I do, let's say if I want to add this part in here, all I need to do just click on the video and open, it will show it up here and it will take time to load. I'm not gonna do that because then it will show, slow me down. But that's how you add a video in there, okay? Let's say if I wanna add a picture, all right? It's very easy. Let's say I wanna add a video, a picture right here, all right? I'm gonna do a picture right here. And what I wanna do is, if you add it in the end, then you don't have to do with the split because it's dead at the end. But if it's in the middle of something, first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to edit and you wanna split the scene. Once you split the scene, that's where you could add video or picture in there. So I'm gonna split the scene. I have a picture in mind that I wanna add. So I'm gonna go and grab that picture. Um, that picture's on a desktop and it's right here. And that is my, um, that is my thumbnail, all right? So if you could see, they, they work. Oh, I 
less the same, okay? So let's head over to my PC right now. Let's go. So that's how my thumbnail looks like. So basically this could be like a transition or like an intro to the next part, right? Now, let's talk about after you're adding the video or a picture. If you look at it, you go to edit, all right? Notice I go to edit. This is where it also have a duration. Again, you could choose how long and how, how fast this transition is. I normally do it about two or three seconds. So I'm gonna put in two seconds. You see how it's just stopped. And once I done, is this it? The, 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 it will stop playing video and it will transition to this That's photo. To my PC okay, right let's go. That's it. That's how you add a photo into your video same thing apply to a video if you have a short video this is like my intro if you have an intro video that you want to add into your uh, video here do the same thing gotta split the scene and then put it in the in between the scene okay all right so that's how you add picture into your <laughs> your video let's say if I want to add music so now we're getting technical now we're gonna get it fun so most of you probably have seen me adding a, this called a thumbnail into my video but during during the thumbnail when it displayed this it has music and i'm gonna show you this is next thing that we could do is adding music so let's go to back to home add music you could click on add music now if this is the first time you're doing it and you don't have any music don't just go and get any music out there and put it in there because of the copywriting uh, uh, problem okay the issue so make sure you you be careful about the music that you use but if you don't have any music you see how music right here this is free music these one you could use so if you you don't have your own custom music then make sure you, you you could go here and grab some and i did i did grab some of the music here that i like and they have a lot of selection so i grabbed some already so what i wanted to do if i want to add music i could add music i click on add music that means if i click on add music it means it will play, put music let me just show you it means it will put music <coughs> whatever whatever what music that i picked into the whole video you see how the whole video is going to have music see that and i don't want that okay i don't want to have music while i'm talking but if you just want to have the music just at this part where i do the intro what you want to do is add music you want to add music at this current point now mind you what i mean when they say add music at this current point is really mean it will add music starting from this point to the end of the song okay that's what really mean so if i'm gonna add the music and i'm gonna show you at the music whatever music i want it's actually from um let me move this it's actually from this point to the end of the song now let's say this part right here it's me talking and i don't want this part to have music and you go to music tools right here the option again this the starting and and a duration now i know that for the picture that we just added it, the duration was two seconds. If I want the music just at this intro right here, I know that it was two seconds. All I need to do is go to the end point right here and I will put 2.0. So the music will play only at this part. So let's take a look at it, okay? All right, so that's how you add music. Just be careful when you're adding music, make sure you want to add the music at where you want it to go, okay? So next thing is, let's say you have a scene that you read, you, you, it, it's in the wrong place, or you think this scene fit better in other place. You could actually move the scene, all right? So let me, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna, um, let's say if this scene right here, so this scene right here, I think it will, be, it will fit well somewhere in between here. Wherever you want to put something in there, make sure there's a split, okay? So I want to split this scene. This particular scene right here, I say, you know what? This scene probably worked better at the end, right? Now that I have this particular scene, just this one, I, I go to split from the beginning at the end. And I'm going to, all I do, after I split it, all I do is I just drag and move. I'm going to drag and move. And that's it that's how i move the scene okay i drag and move i drag and move now and then you probably notice the mu music's moving you say why remember when we were putting the music it was 
at the starting point is at the certain minutes and second. Don't freak out if the music is moving in the wrong place. All you need to do is just drag the move the music over. That's it. And that's how you move the scene and the music. And you could also move your caption. All right. So those are the things that you could do. Um, now, let's talk about another thing. Credit. Do you need credit? If you are making a movie and somebody else is helping you making the movie, let's say you make a big promotional movie and you want to give credit to people who, the director, the camera crews, whatever, you could actually add credit and the credit normally just go to the end anyway. So you add a credit, you could put credit here, uh, the director, so-and-so, whatever. And basically, and then you pick how the, the credit want to show up at the end. Now me, I don't add credit to any of my, my movie just because I do it all by myself. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove it, okay? So, but that you could actually add the um, the credit. Now, a few other things that you could still you could also do and play around with it. And I don't normally use it a lot, but I want to show you anyway. Is that here's the auto movie theme? So let's say if say you know what, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. So I'm gonna let the computer do it for me. You could actually this is the normal one, but look at this. This is how this one coming in. This is my scene. They, they do it all for it. You see, I don't have to do anything. It actually does it for me if that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Or see how this one, they just do, and I just, all I need to do is just click on all and it will start doing it for myself for it. Okay. So you could see my movie, you could pick whatever. There's a lot of other theme that you could actually um, to create. I personally, I don't use this because I like to control on my own, but if you're making something fun, definitely is the way to go. Or you, the, the black and white one, you know, if you want your, your, your video to be black and white. But it's really great that you could actually do a lot of different things. Does it make sense? All right, so that's auto movie theme. Um, they are animation, they how you want Hi, your, your, your video coming, all right? Hi, my name is There's so Hi, many things that you could, you could do with your, your Hi, movie, okay? Um, another one, the visual effect, this is more like a filter thing if you want to use it, okay? All right, so just play around with it. All right, next thing that I want to talk to you about is now that you're done with your video, what do you do? Some of you say, hey, why well, could actually upload it from here, upload to Facebook, upload to YouTube, uh, Vino, whatever. That's great, you could actually up, uh, upload it here. But I haven't personally have any good result when I upload it here directly. I like to save my video, I, have, I like to have control over my video. So what I do is I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna show you how to save your video, okay? I'm gonna go to file, you wanna save movie, and you want to save it for computer, all right? Click on save for computer. It will ask you where do you want to save it, what's the name, and I'm going to do this test. And then it will take a little bit time for you to save the video. So that's it, that's it guys. There's a lot more other things that you could actually uh, explore in this application and this software but it's free and you can make a lot of fun movie out of it you can make a lot of tutorial movie out of it so if you have any question about using this software to um, to edit your video be sure to drop in the comment if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up share this video and make sure you subscribe to this video. If you want to hear, uh, see more of my tutorial, be sure to click on the bell so that you can get a notification when I put out a new video. With that being said, guys, this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. I will see you guys next time.